year in, year out, we come. And I'm privileged by God's grace to have been making this prophetic journey for about 21 years now. November 2001. And we have not stopped. And every day is a plus. Every May convention. Every August ministers conference. And every November. And then we added January. Four times minimum. God privileges us. To have the speakings. Of my spiritual father. Over our lives. So I'd like to just. Encourage somebody here. That your prophet. Is for your profit. I heard my spiritual father say so. And I am a living proof. That followership works. I think we've heard testimonies here again and again and again. And confirming the fact that it works. But it works if you work it well. Let us not deceive ourselves. Only when you follow well. That the right results follow you. No genuine spiritual father. Wants to enslave you. His heart is for your good. And I can say so from a practitioner's point of view. The Bible said in 2 Chronicles 20, 20. Believe the prophet. Don't just follow. Believe. Believe. So you prosper. So you can't follow doubting, suspecting. No. His heart is for your good. I know it. I'm seeing it. The Bible said in Ezra 5, 1 and 2, he said the prophets were there helping them. So he is here to help you, not for you to help him. And friends, we have been marvelously helped by the grace of God. You see, God channels revival through human vessels and vehicles. Whether the revival of Exodus he told Moses, I have come down. But I am sending you. So they are seeing you, but it is me. Whether the revival of Israel. He told Elijah, go show yourself. That's 1 Kings 18 verse 1. But I am the one that will send rain. But it is you that will see. So it is not a man we are following. We are following the God who Package the man with the deposits we need to matter in our generation. And patterns don't change. God is a God of patterns. Following the man God has sent with the fire you need is not an achievement. It's just being sensible. It's not an achievement. It's just being sensitive. The prophet wasn't helping them. In fact, the Bible said in Ezra 6 verse 14. They prospered through the prophesying of the prophets. They prospered. So he, your prophet is for your prosperity. Believe your prophet. Don't doubt his intentions. Believe. Coming here three times a year is better than going to the hospital. And there's no guarantee you'll be admitted there for just five days. No. You are just intelligent. Taking advantage of the measures God has put in place. For your safety. For by a prophet the Lord brought Israel out of Egypt. And it's, it's not the prophet that brought them out. But it's a prophet you see. So it's important that you know that behind the sent man is a sender. 
behind the prophet is the one that sent him. If your perspective is not right, you won't follow well. If I am to follow my spiritual father's pattern and tell you what is the objective of this discussion, because he will always give you the objective. <laughs> I will say objective number one. Understand the value and gain of having a spiritual father over your life. Understand the value and gain. My second objective could have been understand the discipline for quality followership. Discipline. The flesh will, talk, will always war against the spirit. But you are to mortify the flesh. Pride is flesh. I am too big is flesh. I don't need anybody is flesh. Nobody can talk to me is flesh. I want to do what I want to do is flesh. You discipline it. So that you can draw profit. From your relationship with your prophet. So you understand the discipline required. To not just follow, but follow well. We delight from the heart. We delight. We delight. It is only with joy that you draw water out of the wells of salvation. We de okay, if you didn't come here from Tuesday till now, what will you preach? That you have not preached before. So what really do you sacrifice? Wednesday service. How many people attend your Wednesday service? What do you really sacrifice? What do you lose? In actuality, what did you sacrifice? No, being here with such heavy download, and I'm talking not just to those of us, to those of you secretly watching from your rooms and publicly pretending that you are not benefiting from this grace. The Lord show you mercy. Listen to me. <laughs> Come out of hiding. Come out of hiding. You cannot be running with the principles without honoring the principal carrier of the principles. Give honor to whom honor is due. Honor is due. Stop hiding in your houses. But when we hear you talk, we know you are eating from somewhere. Ah, shout I hear. And when you come here and you are blessed and impacted, do not deny the truth about the channel and source through which God trafficked those verities in your direction. Paul speaking, he said, follow these principles well, knowing of whom you have learned them so behind the learning of the learner is a person from whom you learned them and in the bible such connections are openly celebrated openly moses will tell you jethro i was with him 40 years elijah elisha will tell you i poured what has water in the hands of elijah it's not something to be shy about. It is for your good. It's for your good. I am glad to let you know. You can't hang around me for one month, one week, without knowing and hearing me confirm that I have a spiritual father. And by God's grace, the more I talk about it, the more I'm lifted. Because you can't sow honor and reap dishonor. It's not possible. Please know the value, understand the discipline, and then invest the consistency of starting well and following continuously, unbrokenly well. To start it and stop it, it were as though you didn't start it at all. Life is programmed in cycles. 
Life is programmed in rhythms. And by the mercies of God, when you start, you continue with consistency. Because that is when you will enjoy a plus, a push, an advantage, an elevation, increase, progress, well-being, wellness, improvement. All of that is the remnants of profit. It's for your gain. As a person, is a container of virtues. We have this treasure in earthen vessels that the excellence of the power may be of God and not of us. As a person, that's even if you didn't meet him, that you are, you are in a position of honor with your heart. You, you, there are virtues for you to draw. That's 2 Corinthians 4 verse 7. You will share the same atmosphere where God is helping him. And there's a rub off. He said, I long to see you. That I may impart to you. We are not here because God's servant is lonely. I don't come around to fraternize. He can play with me, but I can't play with him. He said, I want to impart to you. So everything as far as I'm concerned about him is an impartation. Greeting is impartation. Handshake is impartation. Joke is impartation. Don't joke with his joke. <laughs> Lord have mercy. I'm telling you, it's impartation. It's impartation. He said, I may impart to you spiritual gifts so you can be established. His principles, rugged, brutal principles. Because some of us are too wild. Without rugged principles, some of us would have been jumping first since. So when God loves your future, he gives you a prophet that does not fear your face. My spiritual father loves me too much to fear me. He doesn't fear me and I know it. You can't impress him with your results. Because he loved me when I didn't have result. People will stand out today and say, I sent him an SMS, he called back. And I see the person looking like myself, the way I came 21 years ago. So I said, this thing is not fake. If it was fake, he would have changed by now. But till today, he's still reaching out to people you would consider a nobody. Because it is not your performance that impresses your spiritual father. It is the heart God gives a father to receive a son and groom him into notoriety. Sir, I am a living testimony. The first time we came here, I came with my precious wife. With my long guarded and protected 10,000 naira. Cons seriously conserved over time. We didn't branch it. Not for food or for anything else. That's how I came. That's how I came. Before then, two years before then. Somebody blessed me with two of his cassette tapes. Running with vision. I don't know what. I played the tape for two years. The tape feel. I played it till the tape cut. I played it till the tape lost shape. I played it till when you put inside radio, it will coil. I will uncoil it. Two years. And I kept saying, Lord, when will I meet this man? Lord, when will I meet this man? Because you will hear the voice of God in the voice of who is your spiritual father. The same way Samuel heard the voice of God sounding like Eli. Please sit down. Please. Don't make us preach. So follow that cassette tape. Last night the person that gave me the tape greeted me here. He greeted me here. The person that gave me those tapes in Enugu. He greeted me here. The whole family. We are not, that used to say we are not following cunningly devised fables. It's not fake. It's real. And I was privileged to hear that his ministry in Calabar. What? And I'm in New York. Dashed down there. And by the grace of God, the person that hosted him 
was glad to introduce us to him. Introduce us to him. And he said, wow, come over to Abuja. That was how our journey to Abuja went there. Night, night bus. Night bus is in great. The, the, the night bus that leaves last is the worst grade. Now that's the one we could afford. So we took it with my precious wife. Anywhere I go, she follows me. They, along the way, the bus broke down. Of course, we didn't dream of paying for another bus. Because how? So we sat there with the conductors. See, whenever they send repairer to come and repair the car, we just, we just follow them voluntarily. So finally we arrived and we showed up here. I can't tell you where we sat. Far, far, far back in area one. When you see where we are sitting today, listen to me. It's a journey of 21 years. Consistent, unbroken, without looking for notice. Without looking for notice. You need to know what you came for. You came to receive impartation, not recognition. But you can't receive impartation and miss recognition. You receive principles, you receive practices, you receive progress. I mean, so but from there the journey began. That 10,000 in the name of Jesus that we guarded with our life finally brought it out, sowed it as our first seed. Can I tell you something? What leaves your hand to your prophet does not reduce you, it creates vacancy. For you to attract the favor he carries. It does what? It creates vacancy for you to attract the favor he carries. Friends. Where you are here today. Look into your life. If you are not seeing results of your followership. It is not because the grace you are following is wrong. It is because you need to follow right. Now something happened some time ago. About 12 years ago, I was kidnapped. Saturday night. Sunday. Monday, I was still there. Tuesday. They informed my spiritual father. He flew in. Led my wife and some other people in a prayer that Tuesday night. And sang a prophetic song. It is finished. It is finished. God says it is finished. That Tuesday night. Where we were, one of those criminals got up. He said, Pastor, you must live here tomorrow. You must live here tomorrow. He said, I don't care what it is, you must live here tomorrow. He took up the fight and confronted his ogre. And that was how I was released the next day. I am telling you that prophetic cover is for your benefit and for your profit. The mantle of your prophet handles your battles. One time in area one, we're in the service, and God's servant just turned and said to me, Come in the middle of ministration, come. So I went up to him and he said, Go outside, walk through the overflows. And we walked through the overflows. And by the time I walked through, I, I walked through the overflows and came back. Everything about me changed, my mind changed, my thinking changed. I never used to see overflow. Never used to see overflow. But after that prophetic walk, by the time I went back, overflow started. That's how we started seeing overflow. We have the crowds. The present of the children we are using, the pictures are there. We have the crowds. We're in a small, small 400-seater hall. When I started coming, when we started coming here, it was a prophetic word that pushed us from that 400-seater hall to the 800-seater dominion hall to the 1,200 seater celebration arena, to the former 4,000 seater Noah's Ark, that was later pulled down. I didn't know that my future father pulled down building to put another one. It is when he was talking which day that I said, what? So this thing that made us pull down the auditorium, it has been following us since. And we put up another one. And by the grace of God, the Noah's Ark is on now. Friends, mm -hmm. all manner of help all manner of grace. God spoke to us to start three story buildings the other day and we obeyed. How? God, my spiritual father called me one Sunday and said, we're going to be having groundbreaking for Lost Garden. Are, you, are, are, are we going to see you? I said, sir, I'm already there. 
and I came. It's one of my problems. I'm sorry, sir. And I came. Traveled to Lagos, Lagos, Abuja. It was when I showed up here that he said, yes, this is a city. On our return, God opened the doors for our campground. We have seen God take us from face to face to level to level to realm to realm to dimension. This glory dome here, we saw it from scratch. What I'm not your prophet does, he charges your faith to their possibilities. Their possibilities. Their possibilities. By the grace of God, we are about to step into the next phase that I have discussed with God's servant and he spoke and prayed. He laid hands on the plan. Crown of glory sanctuary that is about to come. And God's servant said, whenever we are ready, we should come for the, for the ground breaking. Amen, somebody? He does not like telling people sita, so I won't tell you the sita. But any moment from now, we're going to have the ground breaking. What am I telling you? You don't follow the right oil and remain small. Amen. No. Friends, please, honor means hold your prophet in high esteem. Hallelujah. High esteem. Amen. High esteem. Don't look down on your prophet. Stand to your feet everywhere. Please. One prayer. Lord, help me to follow on and follow well. Help me to do what? I have crossed the time my father gave me. I'm very sorry, sir. Please say, Father, help me to follow on and follow well. Can you pray that for 10 seconds, please? Please. It is, it's out of the genuineness of this heart to just let someone know it works. Help me to follow on and follow well. Help me to follow on and follow well. Okay. Hallelujah. 